Hiya, I'm Jasper, and welcome to your video review for You Got Mail. It's a movie starring Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. So, as always, I'm gonna give it the good, the bad, and the furry. To start off the furry, Tom Hanks' character has a dog. And I feel like while it's not absolutely critical to the plot, I feel like he is a supporting character. Like, I feel like he does matter and that he helps things along. Um, not in every single scene, obviously, this guy has a day job, but I feel like he's important enough to mention. So, moving on. This movie is a rom-com. Yeah, I would call it a rom-com. It's a little bit more serious than some of the other rom-coms, but it's not a, it's definitely not a drama. Like, it's not, it's not, I would say it leans more towards the rom-com category. And, journey with me back to the late 90s, I think. So, to put this movie in perspective, cell phones, not so much a thing. <laughs> Bookstores, still the big man on campus. <laughs> There's no Kindle, there's no uh, Nook, there is no uh, Google Reads or whatever else. Like, this is when, like, the bookstore could still be the big guy on campus. Um, and it's still when, probably in the area when AOL was sending out their, like, CDs of, like, hey, join AOL for whatever their offer was. Um, so, you know, computers are a thing, and people are emailing, and that is how this is set up is that Meg Ryan's character and Tom Hanks's character are somehow probably met in AOL chat room I'm guessing um but so they they've been emailing back and forth and just no no specifics no life specifics so basically they're talk you know it's a movie about nothing if you will and so they they are interacting but without giving away personal details and so it's really great because he is the owner of Fox Books, one of the owners, and she is the owner of Shop Around the Corner, which is a locally owned small niche uh, children's bookstore. So he, they are moving in a brand new big old Fox Books, think like Barnes and Noble, but like times three, and she has her little bookstore in that same neighborhood. So it is... It's honestly, I think, one of my favorite Meg Ryan movies. It's one of my favorite Tom Hanks movies. It's not. It's definitely not my favorite favorite Tom Hanks movie, but it's definitely in like my top five favorite Tom Hanks movies. And Meg Ryan is delightful in this. She does rom com really well. So does Tom Hanks. Their characters are just absolutely adorable together. The supporting cast. Um, well, we don't find out all that much about their lives. They do have distinct personalities, and they add to the charm of this movie. Uh, this movie is just, it's, I would call it just very charming, and it's just so fun to see the interactions that they have, especially once Tom Hanks discovers something, and then how they move on from there, or how he moves on from there, and how he sets things up. Like, I think, I think that, especially given the, the time period and the technology available, and like, and his goals, and just, it's Tom Hanks, he's, you know, National Treasure is so charming, um... <laughs> I think that it just barely, even today, I think just barely doesn't get into, like, <sighs> creeper land and, like, manipulative bastard land. Like, I think it's one of those things where there's that line, and <laughs> if, you, if you try something like this and, you, and you, don't, you don't have the right goals and you don't do it like how he did it, like, you, it is very easy to go over that line into a manipulative, creepy bastard that's, like, just, just a horrible person. And... He's on, he is on the line, I still think, even moving, watching this movie today, that he is on the line of, like, charming and just trying to, to fix one of his wrongs in a way that is, is positive and uplifting. So, I think this movie, with less charming people, definitely could have been in the, like, wow, that is fucked up kind of territory. Uh, but in this case, I don't think we got there. I, I didn't get there with the things that were happening on screen. I thought it was just, it was very charming, and as would have... It's also one of those things where you're watching a rom-com. So, you know, you have certain expectations and certain things that are allowed in rom-coms that wouldn't necessarily be allowed in real life. Um, and obviously today would not be possible given all the technology for any of this to take place. But it's fun. I, I don't want to call it a period piece because that, you know, <laughs> makes me feel old. <laughs> but it is, a, it is a movie that could only take place during the time period that it is set. Um, in my opinion, at least for how it was filmed. I'm sure you could have, like, 
letters by Raven or something to do it like in the old ye olden days or whatever. But for how they filmed it and how it was set, I think that it makes perfect sense and it flows well for the story. It's a very charming story. Music's not super memorable. I, I wouldn't say that the aside from maybe her pants a couple times and be like focus on that. But aside from that, the the the, uh, the fashion isn't especially distracting for like they're not trying to be a '90s movie. Um, so I think that the 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 outfits and whatnot they aren't distracting in that way to be like period piece period piece period piece you know they're not doing that uh they are it's it just happens to be what they were wearing for the time period that they're in but it's not like you know shakespeare in love where he must admire the outfits so um but yeah good movie uh i think that if you like rom-coms if you don't hate tom hanks if you can uh if you like meg ryan then i think that you should definitely give this movie a shot and if you like all those people, I would be really surprised if you haven't seen this movie. But what I will tell you is if you haven't seen it in a few years, give it a shot. I still think it's a fun time. I, I enjoyed it. And I think you will too. So that's all I have for this one. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you at the next one. Bye.